football. A game where greatness is defined in an instant. A game of suspense, skill, and strength. A game of trials and triumphs. All in the pursuit of one thing, victory. Experience all football has to offer. See Victory League live. He seemed to think that they'd run with that similar formation again today, um, but he wasn't giving too much away. One would suggest that means Liam Scott back to defence. Well, a machine now on Victory League Radio. Kickoff about to happen. It's uh, Alex Lazinski and McEwen over this one, and we're underway. Albie goes short to McEwen and then out to Fag. Races down the right-hand side. Looks, nutmegs Scotty and then bundles over Scotty and looks at him and says, sit yourself down, boy. Gets away and then finds it at his feet. McEwen rats the ball, steals, has a shot, but uh, it's blocked by Ludford as Whitehorse swings in another ball from a resulting rebound and South now break. Ludford is there to clear away, only as far as McEwen. And Hamlet comes through McEwen, and McEwen is down. There's a strong challenge. Inside, back onto Hamlet. He tries to turn. Ferns throws himself into a challenge. Finds the feet of man. Brennan now. Brennan tries to slip in. Hamlet. Oh, and it's judged to be That's offside. Right now. We're on the left with Brennan. Brennan attacking hard. Looking at Walsh. He shoves aside. Ferns chips it over to man. Man strikes wide to the left. But a good build-up. And Brennan long. picks out Brennan. Brennan puts it through. He's found man. Man has it. Oh, Engels tax to, tackles terrifically. What a just be a title decider here in a massive top of the table clash. Ball play through from Whitehall. Comes to Engels. He fires off and it's well saved, I think, in the end by Pierce. He He's looked done. to whip it in. Whips it in. Comes right into the mixer. It's headed comfortably by Russell Courtney, but collected at his near post. Morton by. takes a quick free kick. Spreads it wide to Cass. Lazinski back to help in defence. Cass looks at... A long driving effort from some 30 yards out. Hot pill, hot potato. Sent forward. Oh, Walsh with an absolute awful error. Comes to Brennan. Gets by Fielding. Fires at goal, but it's a tame effort and it's easily Tries saved. Tries to put a ball in, but it's, it's found the feet of Courtney to clear away. Morton now plays a little neat one-two with Ludlow. Oh, Morton not happy. Angles into it now. His touch is a little bit heavy, but he found the ball... Anyway, tries to loop it over for McEwen. And gets a slice of cheese for his troubles. That's a harsh slice Very of cheese. Very trick he was trying to pull off and he spilled it out of play. So a throwing comes in from Fag. Picks out Lazinski. He comes to Engels and he flashes off a shot. Well saved. Yeah. Down to his Looks right. like he might have been brought down by Scott, but uh, Phillips was having none of it. And, and now Phillips is going to get out the, the cards again now from McEwen. I don't know whether that was for Lip. Who made that through? Challenge? Finds Undy. Danger here for South Hobart. Comes across. Man misses the header. It's still with Morton now on the byline. Keeps it in. Plays across. Oh, well saved by Fielding. Fergus. Gets by a second in Ingles. He should square this one back from the byline. Does, but no one home. Just goes. Unleashes the long throw into the box. Comes to McEwen. He can't meet it with a head. Ludlow gets, Loveford gets it. Comes to Lazinski. for Lazinski. It comes down to Ingles. He puts a nice volley at goal. It's just gone wide in the end. Snuck up a little bit on Pierce. Comes out to Kurt Engels now. He hammers this one straight in the box. Comes to his brother. Oh, no. It's bobbled up on him. Comes out to Whitehall. He puts it back in the box. A strong header from McEwen. Doesn't threaten goal. Pierce looks to win in the air. Lazinski gets it down. Comes across to Engels. He can't meet it with a head. Brennan brings it. Off. Darcy Hall on, Brennan. it looks like. They'll... Brennan cuts inside of Engels, looks to get by a couple. Oh, keeps going. Andy Brennan, terrific work, but Fergus first to send it further yet again, Kurt Engels. I well, tries a little trickery, though. Let's in Brennan. Brennan enters the box here. He fires off a shot, and it bounces just wide of the left upright. Yeah, Cass with a corner here. Plays it in. Looking for Brennan. It's a nice header, but an even nice. Uh, the Norky Knights player. He's made his way into the paper in the same. As I say, that man puts it across, and it's a nice header from Brennan. The feet of Engels. Walsh is overlapping. Puts the ball into the side. Oh, McEwen with the, the volley. Walsh. The ball comes through. This could be a golden chance for South Hobart. Comes to Brennan. It's cut off well by Courtney. Man over it. Hammers it into the wall. Comes out of Cass on the right edge of things. Chips it over the top. Looking for Morton. He's beaten in there by Courtney. And then double change. Benny Whitehall and Ethan Engels coming off. Scott. Turns around nicely. Nice ball through to Brennan. This could be it. 
Oh, Ferguson off his line, does terrific. Oh, nice ball through. Fires Walsh! Oh, Walsh is in on goal. Ingles now with a long throw from the left. It's into the head of Lazinski. Lazinski flicks on. Pierce comes for a punch. Only as far as McEwen. McEwen with a strike. It deflects and... Walsh over it. Could this be it? Ball into the box. It's a crowd box. Punch away by Pierce. Comes to Clark. Cleared off the line by Scott. It's cleared off the line by Scott. Clark, Hortney should run him down. Plays in the middle of the hole. It's advantage. Hall puts a three to Morton. Morton's offside. Morton is offside. He looked... Undy with it. Not a bad day out. Didn't have massive impact on the game. And so I got a horrible bobble in that cest bit down there. And, uh, and off it goes. And Pierce is going to get a book in here. Red card. And he's going to get extra weeks for the clap in the face. I'll give you the hot tip right now. You don't do that to filthy Craig Phillips. Um, Cass will come off and Monker will come on in goals to Foons. Heads forward to Lazinski, but that's all she wrote in this. An absolute pulsating clash between... Scintillating game, Jed. Do you think you should have won it? Well, I think we had a few opportunities there. We had about 10 shots on target. Kane made a couple of saves in the first half. But you, you're happy you come here... Half time, nil nil. You think, oh yeah, we're in a game. We stand a chance. And then at the end, when they get to keep a sent off, you also think gives you the edge, but not to be. Fortunately. Your two subs, Jed. Was that because you didn't have another striker to put on? Well, it's hard, especially in the channels. Uh, with the, in the far side, the ground's heavy, so just wanted fresh legs, get the ball in. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunday was working up off Albie. He did a good job in the middle of the park, filling the hole between Ferns and Henry, so yeah, I thought we'd get something out of it. We had a few chances. One went through Walshie's feet at the end there. I mean, you have to score the, the bread and butter ones, really. If it was a boxing match, you would have won on points? I would have think so. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there wasn't much between the teams. They, had a, they were always dangerous on the break. You know, they got two good strikers, so they keep you honest. In the, in the context of your season, is it too far gone now, you think? We did need three points, let's be, let's be honest. Yeah, we needed to win today, they needed a draw. Do you think you did Olympia a favour, maybe? I don't know. Well, we won't be doing them any favours next week. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, guys. Well, it's, it's a point for us. It keeps us six points ahead of the chasing two. Um, so we're happy with that. With four games to go, it means we have to lose two games for somebody to come over the top of us so I thought the performance was quite quite tidy today we moved the ball well back to front um, didn't create any major openings uh, and their openings came off the long ball and you know off our kind of mistakes so uh, a little errors but other than that I thought it was a reasonable game of football it's yours now isn't it you can't say that. Four games to go, there's a lot of points to play for. It's a, a good result for us, nil-nil. Uh, Zebras had to win it, we didn't. And I thought we played sensible football today. Some of the passing was good, some of the crossing was a bit untidy, but then the pitch in certain areas of the pitch was pretty poor as well. Are you angry at your goalkeeper, Ken? Yeah. yeah. That's going to have repercussions in the FA Cup, isn't it? I don't know about that, but he has repercussions because he's not available next week. Keeps our uh, momentum going. We're still six points clear, as I say, with four games to go. So we're in a good space. So we'll see Monker in sticks next week then, Kent? Mm -hmm. Would appear so yet again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if it is the case that Kane's not available for FFA Cup, will we see, would we see Monker in the FFA Cup as well? Or would, or would there be... A major <laughs> sign. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Would, would it be a case of uh, certainly Monker, perhaps you might come up against a more physical side in Tugger and Ong, maybe a bit more aerial and, and monkey in the air? Is that something we're going to need We'd to We'd have to think now? about, Chris. What you've just said is, uh, is fact that they are a more physical side. They have a six foot four, five centre forward from English um, Fourth Division or Conference League. Uh, Sean Murphy is a good target man, good strong player. So, yeah, and they get crosses into the box, so it's something we'll have to think about. I mean, we thought today's game would marry the Tugranon game in, in the way it would be played. They would go back to front long. Uh, we would try and settle it down. 
and, and th basically that's what happened.